Hey guys, Pogosick29 here. Welcome to episode 4 of Magic Battle Coding. In this episode, we are going to add a bunch more commands. I don't really have too much to say in the beginning. I know it's been a few days since I've posted a video, but you guys are going to have to get used to that. I'm currently working on a schedule, so the vid so rather than, you know, posting the videos whenever I have a few minutes, I'm going to, you know, make a schedule where, you know, on this day, I'll post this kind of video, and on this other day, I'll post this kind of video. I'm thinking of, uh... You know, I'm thinking of running a uh, mini game one day and uh, playing bucket another day. So basically, um, whatever mini game, like we're doing Magic Battle now. Once that's over, if you guys are interested, I can do another mini game, and that will be for one day of the week. And then for another day of the week, it'll just be you know like the random bucket stuff, like you know different techniques and cool things that you can do. So, that is all that we need to get out of the way. So, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is make a message manager, because I know I need to do that. And I didn't do it last time. So, we have our message manager. Now, in, um, in, uh, in, uh, Pogo Ball, we had, uh, three different... We had three different me methods inside of the message manager. We had the good, severe, and info. But we're going to do something slightly uh, different. Let me just type this. Alright, so what we're going to do this time is we are going to use an enumerator. And uh, we, in Pokeball, we did this for teams, and I'm pretty sure that we used an enumerator somewhere else. Yeah, this arena state for disabled waiting countdown or started. So this time we are going to use an enumerator. So we're going to go ahead and write public enum message type. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a slightly more advanced enumerator. The other one just had a bunch of values and you can, you know, get the values and then there are the built-in values and value of methods. But uh, if you guys didn't know this, you can actually have your own methods and sort of constructors for your enumerators. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the three different message types and basically each message type has a different color. So we're gonna go ahead and write private chat color color and import that. Then we're going to write message type chat color color this this dot color equals color. Now this is this is the constructor. Uh, we're not making it public. What's wrong with this? Oh, okay. I'll fix that in a second. We're not making this a. Uh, this is the constructor. It's not public. It's not private. It's not protected. But in an enumerator, that is how you do it because you can't instantiate. You can't like you can't make a new message. Like you can't make a new constant for the uh, for the enumerator outside of the enumerator itself. So basically it will take a chat color which we'll call color and then finally we have a uh, public uh, chat color get color and it'll say return color. Then when we go to define our variables we can go our uh, constants we can go ahead and write info and then chat color dot yellow comma uh, good chat color dot green and our uh, bad chat color dot red and I'm gonna change up the colors a little bit I'm gonna make the info be uh, blue the good will be hmm maybe info will be gray I'm thinking Alright, I'm thinking the info will be gray, the good will be gold, so that nice gold color, and the bad can be 
red, I guess. All right, so we'll work with that. We can always change it later. So this is our advanced enumerator, and we're going to do something like this, I believe, for the wands. When we get to the wands video, I will figure out exactly how I'm going to do that, but we'll, we will have the different wands with the different powers. So this is our advanced enumerator that actually has a constructor, and then we're creating them with the constructor, and then you got to end it with a semicolon right there. So now we can go ahead and have our public void message uh, command sender send or sender because it can be a player or the console it's just easier if we take the command sender command sender sender um, message type type and then we'll take a string dot 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 uh, messages and uh, I was told that that string dot 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 that's called like var args and I already explained that in another video basically um, this is treated as an array, but when you go to call this method, instead of giving it um, an array, you give it all the values of the array. So basically what we're going to say is for string msg messages, sender.sendMessage uh, type.getColor plus msg. And this is just helpful because um, if for whatever reason I wanted to send more than one message, then I can. And if I don't, it doesn't matter. So it's just a nice thing to have. And then also one thing we need is a uh, private string prefix will be chat color dot gray plus the uh, bracket plus chat color dot gold. And it will say um, magic battle. Uh, and then chat color dot gray, and then that, and then chat color dot reset. And then we just want to send them the prefix. The prefix, then the color, then the message. So now let's go ahead and implement our message manager. I'm just going to look for anywhere where I say send message. So like, so here. When I want to add a player message manager dot get instance dot message to player uh, message type dot bad and make sure to impl import make sure to import the uh, one the enumerator that you made and not the other one and the message will be there are uh, too many players. So, all right, good, arena manager, so we'll add the commands there, and then right here we can go ahead and say message manager dot get instance dot msg sender um, message type dot bad only players can use magic battle. And then send command usages. We will do that once we actually add all the commands. We can do that later. Uh, and then we need to do right here, if the command is null, then uh, message manager dot get instance dot msg sender message type dot bad. Uh, that command doesn't exist. Okay. And... Okay, so now let's go ahead and implement this into join. And since we're... Since we've, this is video has already been going for a little while, I'm going to implement it to join, and then we will make the leave command and then, so yeah, so we'll make the leave command, and then in the next video, now that we have everything set up, in the next video we can make a bunch of commands. Message manager dot get instance dot msg player, and what is this? Okay, so if they're if they are an arena, message type dot bad. You 
are already in an arena. If args.length equals zero, message manager dot get instance dot msg p message type dot bad and the message will be um, you must specify an arena number then if they fail to if I can't parse it then message man man adjure dot get instance dot msg player uh, message type dot bad uh, we'll just say args zero is not a number all right and then we are going to go ahead and say if the arena is null message manager dot get instance dot message player uh, message type dot bad uh, that arena doesn't exist then if the state is disabled or started message manager dot get instance dot msg to player uh, message type dot bad um, and then we will say that arena is plus a dot get state dot to string dot to lowercase exclamation point now what that will do is if it's disabled it will say that that arena is disabled if it's started it'll say that arena is started and it will just basically take the state put it as a string and then it'll put it in lowercase and then that looks like all we need to do there so let's go ahead and make the leave command Uh, for time's sake, I'm just going to copy all of this stuff. Extends magic command. Then we need to do our public leave. It will super leave an arena, no arguments, and the it will be L. Good. Now we need to. So if they so if it's null, then you are not already in an arena. If they don't specify, we don't care about their arguments. We just if they do leave, then we want them to leave. We can then say um, looks like all we need to do is we need to say arena manager dot get instance dot get arena for player dot remove player and that should be all that we need to do so that is all for this video we implemented a message manager that was slightly modified from the pogo ball one then we added another command called leave uh, in the next video we will add a bunch more commands now that we have message manager and everything set up We can just basically keep making the classes and adding the commands So as always subscribe if you want to see more comment with what you want to learn and I will see you uh, If you like this video click the like button and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye